What is up everybody and welcome back to Walt Knots for another day here in the Yarn Dungeon. I have a little bit of footage here that I completely forgot about until literally today. I was doing some cleaning on my computer. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have an entire file here from the end of June that I've totally forgotten about. This is a kit that I ordered from Furl's Crochet back at the end of June when they were having their five day birthday celebration. It had a bunch of cool stuff in it. There was a pattern that had all the yarn and the hooks needed in order to make this pattern. I knew the perfect perfect human that I wanted to make this for because it was bright in your face type of sprinkle color and it was just like absolutely perfect. I worked it up within the five days, super fun, quick and easy, high five myself as soon as it was done, then put it away in the closet that I keep all of my handmade goodies for gifts during Hexmas, for birthdays, for Halloween, any and all of that, chilling in the closet, did not think about it again until today. But this was a really, really fun kit. I just figured, you know what, let's just hang out and still check it out anyways. I got a really cool hook that you're going to see here in two seconds that is probably one of my favorite to date. So if you want to hang out with me for a little bit today, make sure you have a bit of caffeine. And here's me from a couple of weeks ago. I have a brand new project that I'm going to start here today. Should I start a new project? Honestly, probably not. Normally my limit is 12 unfinished projects at any given time. And I have them all in tote bags and they're labeled so I know exactly what they are. They're all hanging up in the closet over here just staring at me because they're like, are you sure? Are you sure that you have less than 12 projects? and I'm really honestly not super positive. I have definitely ordered a couple of Furl's kits before. These kits have not only everything that you need in it, but a lot of times there's extra goodies in it too. This is probably the biggest kit that I've ever got. I've done cowls. I think that's it. <laughs> if I'm really being honest, I think cowls, that's literally all I've gotten from them. Let's just take this off here first. Yes, a lot more yarn than I've ever gotten before. 10 skeins of yarn all to create this project that I'm going to be working on, which is a shawl. And I'll pull up the picture here in a little bit. And this is their Wander 100% acrylic. I know this yarn. I love this yarn. I have a room full of this yarn. And I love it for things that need to be washed often. Since it's 100% acrylic, it's super easy to take care of. I don't think there's any color that I haven't used yet. This is considered their birthday palette, which I mean, you can kind of guess why. It's bright, once again, bright confetti colors. That's what it looks like. I love the designers that they get for it too. They do a really good job of making them beginner friendly, or if they're not beginner friendly, they do a really good job of explaining the entire project. Each process is explained really, really well. That's that's really what it is. But this one, like I said, again, looks very low key, hang out at the end of the night to go ahead and work up. Then we have the hook that it comes with, and you could actually choose the color. It's a streamlined swirl, so they had a bunch bunch of different options up there. Definitely one of my favorite lines. All right. Streamline swirl. What will yours look like? Again, this is the same box as their wood, resin, and metal. So you'll see it here a lot on my channel. Which color did I get? White? No. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. This is a cherry one. Now I need to get my other one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I need to grab my other one. This is the coolest thing. Hold on. Every single hook has the colors laid differently. I mean, like they each have their own personality. This is the first time that I've seen like such a dramatic change. So this is the one that I've had before. I have quite a few of them, but I just grabbed the one. Pretty much the other ones that I have look exactly like this. It looks like cherry. And this this one that I just got is so freaking cool. Since it's a swirl, the color ended up pooling at the bottom of it. I don't know why, but this looks amazing. Okay, I do know why, because it looks like a vampire hook now. You know, it's like the tooth, and then here's like blood dripping off of it. That's 100% what it looks like to me. I am so excited. I don't even know what size it is. What is it? Six millimeter crochet hook. Excuse me while I look at this for days now. For the extra goodie that comes along with it is a Wander tote bag. These are so nice. But look at the bottom. Yeah, it opens up. You can get so much stuff in this. I I'm gonna move this. You can easily get 10 skeins. So much room. Ridiculous amount of room in there. Love these. They also, for travel, they have 
have a little thing to clasp over there for the button. If you have a bunch of stuff in there and you need to close it, the back is just a blank canvas, which is perfect because I end up putting some of my favorite patches on here. It really just customized the tote and I have a ton of patches. So the last thing that comes with this kit is the pattern, which that is a digital pattern. So you get that right away. I just have mine saved on my actual Furls account. You can go all the way to the bottom and click on download. So anytime I purchase a kit or like the Crochet Foundry magazine, that's where you find it in here. It's ginormous. Like honestly, I have a hard time calling it a shawl because I'm like, it's going to be a blanket. Like it really, at the end of the day, is going to be a blanket. But it has that big, chunky, granny square type of style of stitch. And it's a six millimeter crochet hook as well. Inevitably is going to work up quick. Difficulty is beginner. Two rows and then go ahead and repeat. That was the type of pattern that I was looking for. So I'm really glad that it's actually that easy. I think I am ready to get started. I'm just going to do a little bit. Honestly, I don't want to like get too into it. I have obviously I have other things that I need to finish, but I have the frills birthday notion bag here that has everything ready to go. I have the hooks in here too that I was going to use, but we're going to use this cherry one because this one's freaking cool. I have a tape measure and scissors. I honestly don't think that I'm going to need a tape measure. I don't think so. These are my favorite travel scissors. They're closed like this. They have a cap and then they're just like spring loaded. Highly, highly suggest these if you travel a lot. That way it's covered and you can have really, really sharp scissors and not worried about stabbing your finger when you're looking in your notion bag, especially one like this that's really big and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. My scissors would always be at the bottom every single time. Like that's just how it would go. First, I'm just gonna get this organized. There's five different colors. I'm sure you can go ahead and do it in whatever sequence that you want. I'm gonna start with this one, Campfire, which is just total Halloween right there. We're gonna start with that one. Everything else, I'm gonna put back in this tote here. Since this is gonna be my nighttime project, I'm gonna be carrying it from room to room, and it's nice to have everything all in one place. I have a leather case for this hook that I like to use, so I won't keep it in the box, but for right now, I'll just leave the box in here too. Yarn bowl, that's like the perfect size for this one. Is this actually a yarn bowl? No, technically it is not, but I say it's a yarn bowl, so it is. I think it was designed to be a planter, that I got, I don't know, a long time ago for some Halloween decor. I just spray painted it black and now it is one of my yarn balls. It is glass though, so it is a little bit heavy. It's not one that I like move from room to room. So this one will only stay here. I'll just like pop the yarn out when I'm not like using it in the yarn dungeon. All right, my tension was a little tight on that. I like really loose tension for shawls and blankets. My tension will get looser as I get going. So I have to like make a conscious effort when I'm starting my foundation chain to make it relatively loose. This is gonna be really big. I mean, this is the width of it. But still, I mean, okay, it's still like, it's gonna be a nice throw. I'm just gonna be admiring this hook for days now. Exactly as I expected, by the time I got to the end of the row, it was very repetitive, super, super happy with this project. Also, do we not just love how this looks like a smashed pumpkin color? I'm only a few rows in, but I'm already starting to see the really cool ripple design that's going to be creating.
So here we have it. This ended up being so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Like you can, I can't even hold the whole thing up. Like this is how big it is. And I even stopped a few rows before the pattern said to because I wanted to end on the same colors. I don't know, that was just like what I wanted. Does it make a difference what color it ends on? Absolutely not, in no way, shape or form. We're just gonna do a full body. Yes, it's giant. The thing about this yarn too is that it's such a soft acrylic yarn that it really makes for perfect shawls, blankets, cardigans. It's one of my favorites. I'm genuinely so excited to give this to the human that I made it for, but it's for Hexmas, so it is still a couple of months away. I am excited to play around with this pattern again and maybe like make it a little bit wider just for myself and almost turn it into a blanket, like a wearable blanket. Not that this was bad in any way, shape or form, because for a shawl like this is the width is pretty big this is definitely gonna be my go-to pattern for the end of the night during summer not only is it a thick grainy square stitch which makes it a little bit lighter and airier to work with once I got through the first couple of rows it was very repetitive very easy to memorize so I could do it while I was watching horror movies or listening to podcasts and I wasn't losing count or losing track it was just a really really good one to end my day with all right, goals, that is all I have for you today. Thank you again for hanging out here in the Yarn Dungeon. Have a fantastically spooky day, and I will see you in my next video.